Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to do a one brand tutorial. I'm going to create this gold and green halo smokia using all Wet n Wild products. Wet n Wild is like one of my favorite brands at the drugstore and all of their makeup is very affordable and for the most part, they never disappoint me. So in today's video, I'm going to create this look using all Wet n Wild products and I'm also going to share my thoughts as I go. The only thing that I didn't like out of everything that I used uh, is the mascara. That one didn't really do its job, but rest all worked absolutely amazing. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then please keep watching. Starting off with the eyes, uh, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer to prime my eyelids, kind of like creating a blank canvas for the eyeshadows. For eyeshadows, I have three palettes to choose from, but I have decided to go with this third palette, which is called Cosmic Collision. And I have to say, all the eyeshadows blended beautifully, and I highly recommend this palette. First, I'm taking this yellow shadow using as my transition shade. On a fluffy crease brush, I'm going to apply this pretty much everywhere on my crease. I'm going to blend this out up until my brow bone. So I'm slowly taking my time building up this color uh, to get the intensity that I'm looking for. Then I'm going to take this almost like a burgundy shadow. I'm taking a brush which is not as fluffy as the previous one. This is more precise. So I'm going to concentrate this color firstly in the socket. Then I'm going to blend it upwards into the crease. But I'm not going really high like I did with the uh, previous shadow. The lighter the color is, the higher I blend it out. The darker the color gets, the closer I keep it to my lid. Time to build up that halo. First, I'm taking this matte green color and applying it on the outer V's and the inner corners of my eyes, keeping it very close to my lash line. First, I'm going to place the color, then I'm going to blend it out, making sure I'm not going past my lid space. I'm going to take a pencil brush, a very precise one at that, and picking up the matte black color from the same eyeshadow palette and stamping this very close to my lash line. Uh, I'm doing this in both my inner corners and as well as my outer corners. Keeping it very close to the lash line, I don't want it to go beyond that uh, green eyeshadow. The only reason I'm adding this black is to create that beautiful depth to the eyes, like a transition from black to the green. Then I'm going to pick up very little bit of that green eyeshadow and place that in my socket, kind of like a bridge between inner corners and outer corners. Then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Concealer on a flat shaded brush and cleaning up on the centers of my eyelid. This way, the gold eyeshadow I'm going to apply on top is going to really pop. With no additional product, I'm just going to take the brush that I used to apply the green eyeshadow with and just blending out the edges of the concealer so everything seems blended into each other rather than harsh edges. Then I'm going to pick up the gold eyeshadow from the palette and apply this wherever I applied the concealer. Then going back in with some more of that green eyeshadow and I'm going to blend out the edges of the gold eyeshadow. Curling my lashes before I go in with the Wet n Wild Max Volume Waterproof Hydrofuge Plus Mascara. It just did not work for me. It didn't give me volume. It didn't give me length. I just didn't see a point of applying this mascara at all. Uh, and then I went in with this Allure Accent of Falsies off camera. Then to fill in my brows, uh, I use this Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil. Uh, this brow product is absolutely amazing. I was not expecting it to work but it is a really good affordable brow product. Well, as you can see, I was really impressed with this and it also comes with the spoolie, which is a huge plus. As my inner corner highlight, I took this white shimmery shadow and applied this in the inner corners of my eyes and I also took that onto my brow bone. Then I felt like it was not highlighting enough, so I just took the gold eyeshadow and popped it in my inner corners. Moving on to face, I have two primers that I want to try today. One is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer and the other one is the matte one. I'm going to use the matte one on the centers of my face uh, and the dewy one on the perimeters of my face. Now I'm taking the dewy one. So I'm going to mainly focus this on the high points of my face, uh, starting with my cheekbones and then I'm going to blend it out. For foundation, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Caramel. This is a really good foundation. I did a review on my channel. But if you have dry skin, you definitely want to prep your skin like with some good hydrating products because this can be a little bit drying on the skin. Mm -hmm. 
For concealers today, I'm gonna try out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I have two shades, one is in the light and one is in the shade medium deep. I'm gonna mix these two concealers to get my perfect shade. First, I'm gonna go in with the deeper shade, uh, very close to my under eyes. And on top, I'm gonna use the shade light. concealer blend out very easily. Uh, it definitely has a light to medium coverage uh, but I do prefer the Maybelline Age Divine Concealer a little bit better than this one but this is a very good affordable concealer as well. So I'm gonna do some cream contouring today. I'm taking this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick in the shade Call Me Maple. And I'm gonna blend it out using the sponge. I'm going to take the wet and white photo focus powder and set my under eyes. And slightly set my entire face with this as well. On top, I'm going to take this wet and wild uh, contouring palette. Uh, this is in the shade Caramel Toffee. I'm going to take the darkest shade and go over the cream contour. This powder is really nice. I like this far better than the cream contour. Like this blends out very easily when compared to the cream contour. I'm gonna take the banana shade uh, from the same palette and brighten underneath my eyes. Mm. That is really good. It instantly brightened underneath my eyes. And finish off the eyes first. Taking this transition shade and I'm going to fuse it pretty much everywhere on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to mix the black and green together, take it closer to my lash line. I'm going on to blush, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Pearl Scent Pink. This has some glitters on it and it is a little bit powdery. So I'm making sure to cut off the excess so I don't get any glitter on my face. I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I totally forgot to get a setting spray from the Wet n Wild so I'm just going to use my uh, Pixie Milky Mist. Moving on to lips, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. First, I'm going to line my lips with this. And I'm going to dot it on the centers of my lips and then just using my fingers to blend it out. So that's the end of this one brand Wet n Wild tutorial. I really liked everything that I used except the mascara. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.